Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is my 2017 spring update for the Beeswaggle Orchard Mason Bee House. Just a quick recap, I put out the bee house a little late in the season last year towards the end of July 2016, and I checked every week for a month, but the house was always empty, so I kind of forgot about it. In mid-October, I checked again and was surprised to see a bunch of tubes had mud walls and a few larvae were in the chamber. The orange film around them appears to be some sort of resin cocoon. I left the bee house out all winter, and in mid-April, I saw the first mud walls were broken through, so I assumed the surviving hatchlings had emerged and were happily pollinating my fruit trees. I took the bee house inside to clean it out today. As you can see, the winter weather has worn down the house a bit. It's a weathered gray and the wood is beginning to crack, however the hardware seems in good condition. Like I said, the first mud chambers are empty, but there still appear to be some residents in the other chambers. After opening up the viewing piano, here's what's inside. They don't exactly look like mason bees because they don't have the signature silk cocoon. However, when I took them out, they started to move, so I know they're still alive. Only one of them looks like a fully developed bee. I'm assuming the others are pupae of mason wasps because I've seen the wasps collecting mud around my yard during the summer, but they're still good pollinators, so I'll let them mature. I transferred all the pupae into a plastic cup which I'll cover, and I cut an escape hole in it so when they finish maturing they can emerge. This will let me clean out the house so new eggs can be laid for the current season. It seems like the bee house was sort of a success for last season. After all, pollinator is a pollinator, right? I'll be curious to see if I get different residents in the house since my timing this year is much earlier than it was last year. Here's to hoping for solitary bees. I hope you enjoyed this update. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the bee house in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.